welcome to What's New with Cisco U, the monthly series where we tell you the learning and search stuff you should know. This month is all about monitoring the cloud, connecting the cloud, and network assurance. And this month, we're not just doing this virtually. We are connecting in real life, in person, on site at Cisco Live Amsterdam. At Cisco Live in Europe this year, we're really focused on three themes. The first is connectivity. I'm all around how we're able to really use the power of the platform here at Cisco to be able to make that on-prem and cloud connection be seamless and secure. And that actually gets to our second theme, which is security. And everything that Cisco is bringing to bear when it comes to firewall, XDR, SSE, and even SASE. And then finally, it's network assurance. How we're able to not just help you connect and secure the network, but also how you're able to observe it, get data from it, and make better decisions. Each one of those three themes is one of our new multi-cloud certifications. So for connectivity, we have the Enterprise Network Cloud Connectivity Certification, which the blueprint and the course is available now, so that way you can start getting ready for that certification. For security, we have our new Secure Cloud Access Certification. The acronym is SCAZT. And you can learn more about that blueprint and even find training options available right now. And then the newest one in that network assurance category is Enterprise Network Network, network Assurance Certification, all a part of the multi-cloud suite. And you can find our blueprint and uh, news about when the training is available later this year. All of that is available here at Cisco Live, but it's also on cisco.com for you to learn more. And if you want to get started with the training, you can go to u.cisco.com and you can register today. The best part about Cisco Live is that we're able to connect with the community. So everybody that's coming here asking about like AI, asking us about um, uh, things like how they can leverage the cloud in new ways, how they can also get into programmability. I think the best thing that we do here is that we show people how to get started in the technologies that they want to learn. And Cisco U, for us, is like the easiest way to dive right in with both feet. Are you interested in cloud connectivity? Are you interested in OSPF, BGP, maybe Catalyst SD-WAN, maybe IPsec security, maybe even designing cloud connectivity? Well, if you are, I've got some great news. We've got a fantastic learning path on Cisco U. It's the ENCC learning path. And this is what I've got behind me right here. So track one is all about establishing the baseline of what the cloud is, what that technology is all about, and, and how it came about, basically. Track two is, is about designing for the cloud. So how do you design that connectivity from your on-prem data centers to AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP? Track three is all about using IPsec to connect natively to those providers from, again, your on-prem routers. Track four is the SD-WAN focus. So this is Catalyst SD-WAN, and what we're doing is we're allowing you to learn and leverage how to extend the overlay of your SD-WAN fabric into AWS, Microsoft Azure, GCP, and using those providers to extend, like I said, the overlay network. And finally, track five is all about troubleshooting, diagnostics, and figuring out if you have any issues with that cloud connectivity. So there we go, and I'm not finished there with the good news. Track one is available for free right now on Cisco U. So you can log in, create a free account, get access to track one of ENCC, start your cloud connectivity journey. In addition to having enterprise cloud connectivity, track one for free, we also have designing and implementing secure cloud access for users and endpoints, SCAZT, track one for free. All you need to do to get started is to log into Cisco U. So click the link below. I'm a product manager here on the Cisco U team, and I'm excited to show you today our new customer admin portal and some of the features it has. So first, let me show you how to get in. From the For You page, as a customer admin, you'll be automatically authenticated. So all you have to do is come up here to the profile dropdown and select customer admin. That's gonna automatically take you to the customer admin space. Alrighty. So you'll see here the customer admin portal has three tabs that you can navigate through. The customers tab, the subscriptions tab, and the learners tab. So if you manage multiple customer sites, you can select them here from the customers tab. I'll go ahead and select this first one here. And that will take us to the subscriptions tab. 
And within the subscriptions tab, you can see any orders that are associated with that customer site. You can see the name of the entitlement, the order number, uh, how many licenses you've assigned out of how many you have available, and then the start date and end date. You can also assign users here from this page. All you have to do is click on assign. It'll open up this pop-up and you just enter in the emails of the folks that you want to give a license to. I just have to make sure the email address is associated with a valid Cisco ID and they will be automatically provisioned. Let me come out of here. And then one more thing I want to show is our new reporting feature and that is within the learners tab. So if I go ahead and select, select this order, it will show me the users that are assigned under that order and a little bit more about their utilization of Cisco U. So we can see here we have four users assigned to this one account and up here we have new three new metrics that tell a little bit about the utilization. So the first one is last login, the date field that lets you know when the last time they logged in. Next one's login count, which lets you know how many times someone has logged in. And by the way, these are all sortable, so you can quickly identify who may have logged in the most time or who has yet to log in. And then lastly, learning paths accessed. This is sort of a proxy measure to kind of get a sense of the engagement of your users by seeing how many learning paths they've opened. And again, these are all sortable, so you can quickly identify top and low performers. And you could also sort by name, start and end date. And up here at the top, we have a search users uh, function. And you can also filter by admins, learners, with the default being all. So this is our reporting MVP. And we'll be adding many more metrics to this as well as more functionality like content assignment and content customization. Hi everybody, we're recording today on Valentine's Day. We have baby Zoe here. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about the new tutorials for Cisco U. We have a new secure firewall management with REST API <laughs> authentication. We have four new SCATS tutorials for our new security in the cloud <laughs> certification. <laughs> oh really? You like security in the cloud, okay. And I'm really excited about that. We have one around GitHub Auth, using multi-factor authentication, a couple other ones covering ICE, Umbrella, and SD-WAN and security. We also have two new tutorials from John Capabianco on AI, and also another great one on Python requests using SQLite and Flask. And baby Zoe says that's about all of that, and we'll move on from there. Thanks. During Cisco Live, our tech experts presented sessions at the Cisco U Theater on Cisco's new multi-cloud certifications. They presented on ENNA, ENCC, and SEAZT. The link to every single session that happened at the Cisco U Theater will be linked below. So. If you missed any of them, be sure to check out the link and watch all of them. As usual, make sure you hit the subscribe button, enable notifications, make sure you don't miss a single episode that we upload on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy learning.